Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving Mars. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm excited. I'm excited for a lot of different reasons, but uh, this colony is uh, up and running. It's doing okay. We got two souls in 10 hours until our founder stage is done. And we got a couple of problems to solve right away. This truck here is bringing some concrete into this area because there's still a few buildings that aren't built. And so it, they're missing concrete and that's why. Now this truck here is also gonna need to be used for something else. I need to grab some metals. So let's have you grab some metals from this resource pile. And let's have you take it all the way over to here and drop it off right here, I think. That's fine. And the reason for that is, uh, as you guys notice, right, we've got this huge line, this huge water line that comes all the way from over, over there, runs all the way this way into these extractors. Now, there's a couple of logistical problems here. The first is that this waste rock is building up, so before this gets super out of hand, I'm going to drop a couple of these uh, dumping sites. That's going to get the drones working on dumping some of this stuff, which is going to be good. Uh, we'll probably put, like, four. All right, but in addition to that, though, the big problem we have right now is that there is a leak right here. And this leak, this pipe burst, is costing us 3.6 water per hour and 1.1 oxygen each hour. Uh, it takes metal to, to, to fix these things. So even though we got the ship in range to cover the gap that the other, uh, you know, drone hubs can't see, we don't have any resources in the area. So now I've dropped a little bit of uh, metal in here just in case something else happens like that in the future, we'll be able to take care of it. Unfortunately, that drone that was trying to fix it, uh, whoops, that's not what I want to do. Don't, no more metals, no more metals, <laughs> go away. I set up cable a- Cable fault reported. Oh, we got a cable fault too, it's fine. Uh, let's just have this thing drop off your resources right here. I don't know what I want to do with this truck yet, but I just know that the resources that it has don't need to be in it at the moment. Okay, let's just have you wait, or, wait over here by the power cable. This is our RC car. Look pretty good there. Uh, we still need some waste rock piles for these extractors. And I want to talk about these extractors a little bit too. Let's slow this down a little bit. Dumping piles. Can we put some over here? This looks like a decent spot for it actually. Kind of over here where all the rocks are already at. Yeah. I like this. We'll do that. It's kind of like out of the way, but in the way sort of thing. I don't know. It'll be fine. So all this waste rock here needs to be transported. I just love these little drones. My God. I just love, I love this. I love it. It's, I'm so, I'm so excited about this. Uh, we have to maintain some cables here. This cable's uh, getting fixed. Perfect. See, we don't have to do, we don't have to worry about it after all. I'm on top of it, guys. We got the athletic complex for them to exercise in. I feel pretty bad. I didn't actually get a shot of them coming off the rocket the first time. I I feel, whoa, whoa now, whoa now. You know, I bet he can do that because of the lower gravity. Isn't that, that's probably it, isn't it? That's a pretty big jump he got there, dude. Um, I feel really bad about it though. This rocket landed and I was so worked up with like other resources management and stuff and I totally missed them coming off the rocket. It's not that special per se. They just kind of come down all in a straight line and they do this, this little like, on a long, long stride run into the door. But it would have been nice to see the first, the colonies, like the founders land. I, I feel bad about that, but. Uh, I tried to go back actually and record it from an autosave, but the autosave uh, chimed in uh, as soon as they were in the dome. So it, it didn't, that doesn't work for me very well. Research center is up and running. Pretty good. We got a specialization, a bonus of 10 there. 124 worker performance. So each of your guys who have specializations, um, they all have performance rankings, and if they are working in their specialization, they'll have a better rating. We had a crop, unfortunately, not produce any food. That's not because a botanist not working there. We actually have two botanists that are working here. Uh, I think it's because we don't have them working enough shifts. So what I'd like to do... Ooh, they only work one shift. Ooh, I thought they would work more than that. Okay then. Well, they'll probably get, they'll probably start. I would hope they would assign themselves. I mean, maybe not. We now have two botanists working in here. That's no good. How do I get you to work somewhere else? You are currently a metals extractor. I would like you to work here. Uh, let's set you, set workplace to this. Yes, there we go. 
Colonists have several stats. You can monitor the, the condition of each colonist in their info panel. To maintain your colonists' good health, you need to provide them with water, oxygen, and food, and access to operational service buildings. So your health is 100. Great. Well rested. Perfect. Sanity 72. Good. Comfort 53. Eh, you're getting there. And your morale is 65. Good shape. Awesome. I don't have any of your names in the game yet. Uh, I will do that uh, soon. Let's say before the next video, I think. I'm going to get your names in the game then. Uh, and I'm of, course, I'm, of course, referring to the patrons, uh, getting your names. Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not referring to normal viewers because all of this stuff here is uh, being recorded before this, the first video even goes live. So uh, I'm kind of getting banked up at like six or seven videos before the sixth. So uh, I'll get you guys in uh, later when we have more colonists anyway. I would like to get another botanist to work here in the farm. Can I find another botanist that's kind of hanging out here? See, okay, so this is a botanist working in this building, but I kind of need somebody to work there. Engineer and geologist. The geologist, the engineer's not happy about this, but uh, the geologist is doing fine. So we need to get more people here, but in order to do that, we have to pass our founder stage, and that's what this is. One hour, or one soul in nine hours until we pass our, our founder stage. The buildings are not working, what? Oh, yeah, right, concrete. Um, how are we doing on concrete, actually? We got a lot. Yeah, we're pretty good on concrete. All right. Uh, I could get another extractor, though. It wouldn't hurt to get another extractor. Uh, we could actually... Here, let's do this. Can I... Wait, could I do that? Hold on. Uh, yes, I could. All right, let's try this. I'm going to put... Well, this can hold concrete. It's not... It's holding 12 right now. It can hold more. I think we should put more over here because I'm probably going to end up uh, building... How do I get this metal? Am I, I going to make another dome over here for this? Just to get these? I can't get them both. Well, I can get them both. I can get them both right here, actually. Which might be worth it. It might be worth getting another dome. For this. I actually have two residences in here, so... There's actually... I'm a little heavy on the residences. And, like, this is, like, the first colony, if you will. Like, the first dome. So I was like, I need places, to, I need adequate places for people to live. But there's also a blank spot here. Let's see if we can fill it with something nice. How about a, a beautiful park? Ooh. It is quite beautiful, isn't it? I could probably do better, though. How about we go with uh, a garden? Ooh, you like this. I think they'll like that. I think they'll like that. I find it humorous, though, that we're going to build a garden using concrete. It's, I found that to be a little bit humorous. Is there any other tiles that I haven't actually filled in on this yet? Let's find out. Statue. Uh, I think we're filled right up. Yep. Oh, we have another spot right here. Uh, how about we put in a small fountain right here? That'll work. Does it take water? It's a fountain. I don't know if it takes water or not. I'm actually kind of curious to know this. We are now at the stage of the game where uh, I have kind of no experience playing it. After the first dome, um, I have built several domes before, but it was not a very functional colony. It wasn't a very successful colony, and I, I want to do it right this time, so I am going to expand a little bit slower than I was when I was playing around with it. But I'm actually a little bit worried about our power situation. Uh, in addition to being only 39 polymers to repair these things, I think we need to help out the power situation a bit. This battery is going to need polymers to repair. This is a lot of polymers. Okay, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's get some more solar panels. Uh, we're going to put it right here and put another one right here. Uh, we have two back here. Not producing power during the night, yeah. Let's do one more. I want to make sure we have enough power. And then I think I'm going to have a second battery. Because if we have a problem with power at some point and we have to fix it, we're going to need at least a little bit of uh, grace period, if you will, to make sure. So I'm actually going to put it back here. That seems kind of nice. And then once these solar panels are installed and these batteries are getting up and running, we can then close these so that they continue operation without needing maintenance. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, as far as water goes, we are kind of zeroed right now. I'm not sure how how or why, but um, 
I'm kind of thinking of maybe making another tank. And I feel like we have a lot of water tanks right now for redundancy, but I feel like I want one more. I don't know. I just feel like I do. How much is it? Three metal? I'm going to put one more in here. Can I fit it in here? Yeah, it's going to have to be here. Okay, I'm going to put one right there. I just want to make sure we never have to run out. We're never going to run out of water because eventually we're going to need a second dome here. And this stuff is all going to have to support multiple domes. I'm pretty sure the next dome is going to be right here just to get the metals. And then how is our research doing, I wonder? So we're getting productivity training. This makes engineers and geologists have plus 10 performance when working in their specialty. That's going to be great for our geologists, but we, we need more geologists. We're going to do a lot of mining, so we're going to need a lot of geologists. So next time we go uh, to get people, we're going to bring geologists for sure. Uh, I'm thinking we could try water reclamation in a bit, maybe. It's pretty expensive on the polymers, but it will save us a ton of water. I think we're good for water, though, aren't we? Are we good for water? Oh, you know what we should do? Because we're starting to scan areas that are further away now, it's probably a good idea to get another sensor tower. Uh, so how about we put another sensor tower right over here next to the power? Yeah, right over uh, here. Like that. Eh. No, because this is going to need maintenance faster because of, the, because of it being by the extractor. I'd like to get it away from the extractor. I could always drag it up this way. That might be okay, because we're going to scan these areas too. Uh, yeah, let's put a sensor tower like way over here. Ooh, it's outside the, it's outside the range. Well, shoot. That's a problem. I could put it here, but it's going to be next to this extractor. Maybe we put it here. Is that too far away from... It's okay. All right, let's put it here. I, I just want one out here. So right... Research complete. Right there. And then we'll get the power cables to run out this way, too. Yeah, and if we're going to ever do any extraction on this concrete, we'll need a power cable to run this way anyway, in addition to, like, this and this, so... I suppose it's fine. All right, when that sensor tower goes up, all the stuff that we're scanning should go quicker. And uh, we'll scan in here, too. Unexplored, unexplored, concrete, metals. Yeah. All right. We have another anomaly way over here. I'm actually thinking about sending Explorer that way. Uh, Explorer, can you go get that? Because that would help our research quite a bit. 20 hours remaining until our founder stage is done. Let's speed up time. I can't decide if I want to get rid of these or not. I think they're cool for in the sake of an emergency, but sector scanned, anomaly found. I'm not sure if it's really if they're really needed anymore. I paid for these prefabs, but to repair them and get them running again, it's going to require constant maintenance. Not excited about the maintenance. We have another anomaly over here now. Uh, it's currently analyzing another anomaly. So when it's done with this one, we'll send it over to this one. Yeah. Pipe leak reported. Another pipe leak. Another pipe leak. Okay, there you go. We're losing more. But there's metals in the area, and the drones are on it really, really fast. All right. We have people working this now? Good. Botanists are working. I'm wondering if I can toggle... Can I get them to work around the clock on this, or is that just not possible? They probably have to eat. Anomaly like, and They have to sleep. They have to they have to have free time. I understand. I need more people if I want to work around the clock. I guess that's probably what it is. Did I just hear babies? Um We don't have any babies. We don't have any babies. So why do I hear babies? Come on, game. Get with the program. This will go down in history. Ooh. The long-time dream of the human civilization as a whole to settle another world 
has come true. To be among the first who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. We are already swarmed with applications for relocation on Mars, and the wanderlust and enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. The red planet continues to be inhospitable and even dangerous, but as we but we as a species had always displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder. So I say, bring it on. Uh, the, the colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. Cool. Anomaly analyzed for 1500 science. Tis great. Uh, first thing I want to do before we get carried away here, take our explorer and tell you to come over to that. Then... I want to take a look at research. So we just got, I don't remember what we just got. <laughs> we were exploring something. I forgot what we got here. Uh, Martian education could be cool, but I think it only works for, no, it's college education is always free on Mars. Okay, there it is. Uh, receive a one-time grant. That might be nice. We're currently at 790. Uh, mm, wind turbines. I don't know if I'm going to do wind turbines yet. If I can get machine parts manufacturing, then I can do those wind turbines. Uh, drone hub. This might be nice. I wish I could get an upgrade that increases their range. Let's do extractors. We have a power surplus right now. Yeah, let's do this. Research complete. All right. So we just researched utility crops. Let's check that out. Utility crops, where are you? Here you are. Unlock new crops and farm and hydroponic farms that provide oxygen and improve soil quality. All right, so improving soil quality actually is probably a good, important thing because we had some failed crops and they didn't get done, so they didn't produce any food. Uh, our, currently our food supply is what? How, many, how much food do we have right now? 73. I think we're doing really well on food. I may I may have sent too much, but it's fine. It doesn't expire, so. How do I change the crop? That's what I'd like to... Oh, here it is. Okay, so wheat is what we're currently producing. We can select a new crop if we want to. Oh. Soybeans. Uh, they actually produce oxygen. Well, of course they do, because they consume carbon dioxide. They're plants. Duh. Potatoes. Uh, soil quality decrease. Ooh. Ah, now cover crops. Very, yo very low yield, but increases soil quality significantly, improving the yield of the next crop. Ooh, that's what I want. And then I want the next crop to be... Um, this is the best harvest. Slowly, grows slowly and depletes the soil, causing reduced yield of the next crop. You know, if we're going to raise it by 40 and then lower it by 10, I'm not opposed to that idea. But, I mean, there's not really that big. It's 9, 11 food difference, actually. It's an 11 food difference. You know what? We're going to do potatoes after that. Because you guys deserve some quality food. Okay. You guys deserve it. I hear babies. But I don't think we have any babies. I'm pretty sure we have no babies. We have nobody homeless either. So with the founder stage done, we can send more people here. And I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do that. So let's take a look and see if we can get any new people. Passenger rocket. So currently only eight colonists match our, our initial description of having uh, only specializations. And most, a lot of them are botanists. Uh, we have enough botanists at the moment. We could use, we could use another scientist. We really could use another scientist. We're definitely going to take Homer. <laughs> Homer Simpson. Wow. <laughs> wow. How, how? How did that happen? Are these randomly generated names? Because if they are randomly generated names, that is impressive. I'm just going to say it. That's really impressive. Uh, how about Chloe, Chloe Grant? We'll take her too as a scientist. Uh, the rest of these guys... We're going to just let them sit there for a second. We're going to go to specialization and turn on the no specializations or turn that off rather. So now we have uh, another 12 colonists. All right. We have Delbert Clark, survivor enthusiast. Cool. Welcome aboard. We have uh, Ayla Trenton, vegan hippie. 
Let's skip that for a second. Survivor, good. Anyone who has a survivor, honestly, I'm probably just gonna take you automatically. Uh, unless you're in a you know, specialization that I don't need. I'm wondering what the engineers are for, actually. Because I thought engineers could work. I thought engineers could work in the extractors and stuff, but I guess not. All right, we're going to have to start opening our doors to people who have a, a few quirks. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the flaws area. Let's deselect this. And let's pick the ones that we really don't want. Chronic condition, no. Idiot, no. Uh, I think... Um, loses sanity when low on comfort. You know what? No. Melancholic? No. Uh, I think uh, coward loses sanity from disasters. Hmm. We have a really low chance at disasters. I'm actually going to not disallow that. Glutton? Don't want that. I think everyone else is probably okay. Work performance lowered by 10. Can be caused by sanity breakdowns plus drinking. Let's take away the alcoholics too. I think everybody else is fine though. So this gives us 21 more applicants. Uh, we don't want any tourists. Vegans are okay. There's actually five of them now. Okay, so I've gone through the applicants and I've decided on these guys. So let's just go through a couple of them so you can see the differences we have now. Alexis Griffin. You got a workaholic religious nerd. Uh, she's a botanist. I am going to need more botanists. I know I said I had too many before, but we're probably going to get a second dome. And when we do that, uh, we're going to need all new growers and things like that. So uh, plus, if I have the people working on different shifts, we can produce more food that way. So uh, we're going to take a, we're going to take a couple of more botanists. Uh, then we've got Delbert Clark. No specialization for Mr. Clark. However, he's a survivor and an enthusiast. Perfect. No, no downsides. Awesome. Homer Simpson, geologist, automatic. If you're a geologist right now, you're going. Uh, Pearl Anderson is a vegan. Okay. Party animal. She gains additional 20, uh, additional comfort when she's satisfying a social interest. But she's also a coward. So she will uh, double her sanity losses from disasters. Uh, so that sucks. We have uh, Miss Trenton here, who's a hippie vegan. Savannah Jenkins, who's a survivor. Uh, no specialization on these guys, you can see. Then we're bringing uh, Guadalupe Grant. He has a, uh, he's religious, but he also has a gambling problem. And uh, he has a 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when leaving a casino, which is kind of a bad deal. Um, actually, do you have the same? See, this person here is a scientist as well, but uh, she's also going to lose comfort every day while she's living in a dome with a population over 30. So she likes to be a loner. I don't know if that's a bad thing, though. This, this dome is probably not going to get a population over that. Probably. Loses comfort every day. That sucks. Would I rather have that or the gambler? We don't have any, we don't have any casinos right now. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Guadalupe go. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him come with us. Chloe Grant, she's a hippie scientist, awesome. Demid Petrov, uh, enthusiast but also a coward. And Madison Anderson is a botanist. She's very composed, which is nice. Oh, on the second page we've got Courtney Carson. No specialization, but this guy is a vegan and a hippie, so no downsides to bring him either. No no uh, quirks, if you will, no flaws. Uh, and then we have got Leo Bruno, who's a geologist, my only other geologist that's in this list, and um, he's also got the gambling problem. Either way, though, these 12 are coming, so there we go. And that's going to help us a lot, because it's going to allow these guys to work their specializations. The botanist will no longer need to work here. We'll have geologists to, to work it. Uh, we, we can also have these guys working more shifts, uh, and as a result of that, we can produce more, we can get extract more, and ultimately we can export more, and that will help as well. Okay, I'd really like to get another dome right here, I think. Uh, I just want to make sure I can get both of these both of these extraction points. And, like, getting too close to the rocks kind of sucks. But this technically works. And I'm open to this. I'm very, uh, very open to uh, all of this. Yeah. I might earmark this. It's too far from a working drone commander for now, but I might earmark that for a second. Because this is going to allow us to get access to these two metal deposits. And then if I take a look at the map, we're currently scanning out this way. I do want to eventually scan out this way. 
Um, you'll notice that the terrain is really rough right here. There's like this big mountain going like all the way through here, this big mountain range, canyon, whatever you want to call it, uh, going all the way through here. And that's going to make passing through here on foot impossible. Breakthrough discovered. However, ooh, Martian diet breakthrough. Hang on, Martian diet. All colonists consume 25% less food. Radically changing eating habits that have been in place for centuries is made quite easier after changing the planet they were evolved on in the first place. Wow. I think I'm going to get started on this Mars crowdfunding. Uh, we get uh, an instant $1 billion. So that sounds great. We'll do that fifth. And then uh, our Explorer rover, which is way over here. I need you to come on back to base, buddy, before you die. I can't have you running out of battery way over there. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I think we need to start working on getting these ex this extractor out of here. I can decommission this. Because uh, there's no Vehicle more... battery low. Yeah, I know. There's no more uh, stuff that it can get. But we can still get stuff over here, I think, right? Yeah, it's still stuff over here. So we can break this down. Which will allow us to salvage a little bit of the parts. But we can't actually completely break this down. Sector scanned. Like right now, you can see it's kind of decrepit, you know? It's a ruin, if you will. Uh, we can't actually do anything with this unless we have decommission protocol. So, yeah, that's the one thing I keep putting off. How close are we to getting that? Not close at all. <laughs> all right, well, whatever. We'll eventually get it, I swear. Let's, um, let's get another concrete extractor, though. Tell me I can put it here. Tell me it's not in the way. It is totally in the way. All right, we can always get concrete from another source. We can get it from over here. That's not a big deal. Run a power line out this way. That's not, that's not too bad. I think we can take that. Let's get that going. And then uh, we'll get power lines run out, power cables. Let's have those come run out right like this. About like that. And then like that. Okay. There's a metal source right here I kind of want to get to. It's, uh, it's very low. It's not a really high priority. Uh, and we can't get it without a dome being here. But... Uh, I'm hoping that we'll... I don't know how the game progresses from here. This is about as far in the tech tree, if you will, as I've gotten, so... Hey, wait, why aren't you doing this? Oh, you don't have electronics. Oh. Oh, are you... Are, is this repaired by electronics? Hold on, our sensor tower is repaired with electronics. No, they're repaired with metals. Okay, so they just need one electronics. They're not repaired by it. Good. Uh, transport. Come on over here. Grab me one electronic. Just grab one. I want that sensor tower up. It's going to help us. Actually, wait. How um, how many more regions over here do we have to do? See, I don't really think we need to go much more this way. I think I want to start looking over here, actually. So maybe a sensor tower on this side would be better. You know what? I'm going to do that instead. Where's that sensor tower over right here? Let's get rid of this. I'm okay with the power lines. I'm okay with this line just staying here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But uh, I think we're gonna get another sensor tower like over this way. So let's put one, that's a wind turbine. Let's put one out here. Like that. That sounds great. Uh, we're gonna need some power run to that. So let's get, hmm. maybe we run it from here. We'll run it out this way. It's kind of weird with the, uh, yeah, with the rocket being here. It's kind of odd. We also have the next rocket, the next shipment, the next people, the next wave of our colonists. Let's have them come in through here. This is going to be a bitch to put fuel in. Let's not have them do that. Let's have them come in over here and anyway. Yeah, right here. Right next to this other one. It's fine. Yeah, this one right here. And we'll get the power cables running. I guess I can't go through that, which is kind of annoying, but all right. Rocket is landing. My god, this power line. There, like that. Alright, here's our colonists. 
Look at them coming out. Here's their run. Here's how they get out. New colonists have arrived. Look at how big this rocket is. It doesn't look that big until you see how small they are, and then you realize they're quite big. Coming right at us. Here they come. <laughs> Welcome aboard, guys. Welcome. Come on in. Make yourselves at home. Because you are now. You're home now. And then they're all going to come live over here because there's lots of room for it. All right. So we just researched Logi Hydrosynthesis. And that is going to let us build the polymer factory. As well as build our own fuel refineries. Uh, since we have a huge abundance of water right now, I think we're going to make a fuel refinery. We've got a couple of rockets out this way. So I think another fuel refinery is a good idea. And I'm going to pop one right here if I can. Uh, let's find the production right here. We can actually build our own now. So how about we build uh, right here? This is going to put it on power line and it also connects it to the water system. If we build this, we'll then be able to supply these rockets with the power, that the, the fuel that they need. Because this one here, these rockets are out of range for these drones, so they're not able to refuel our rockets. In fact, we've been landing rockets just outside of the range of this thing for, like, the whole time. It's been a pretty bad deal. I'm also noticing we have 11 machine parts, but they're not actually using it to build this. And it probably has something to do with us not having them in storage. Uh, correct. They're not in storage, which means... They are inside this rocket still, and this rocket is out of command range. So I need my RC guy right here. You. Temporarily, I need you to come over here. Load up your troops. Load up your drones. And come head on over there for a second. I need you to take care of that for me. Now, if can we build our own drone hub? That's something I'd really like to do. Uh, we can build recharge stations, actually, which might not be a bad deal to have a recharge stations like over here just for some of the drones that are working around they don't need to come back to the drone hub to recharge it's not a bad idea i like it let's do this let's put a recharging station like right here for the drone it costs one metal like it's not that big of a deal right here too we'll put a, a few of these recharging stations so that drones don't have to go all the way back to their vehicle here we go now we've got this up and running sweet all right, take this truck or take this thing. Um, can we take the resources off of that? I think we can. If I drop a depot, if I drop a universal depot right here, these drones should, yep, go grab the stuff in the trailer and offload it to here. And that will put the resources in range for this one to offload it and put it over here, which will be nice. And then we're good to go. Maybe if I had something else over here, I might consider a, I might consider a dome over here, but we don't really have a whole lot. I think eventually we're going to have lots of domes. I really like genuinely feel like there's going to be a dome over here too. There's so much water over here and having things like available to maintain them is probably preferred to our dramatic remote access that we have right now. Yeah, there's no drones to, to manage this stuff right now. The waste rock is piling up, I know. Scientists and visionaries have promoted the idea of humanity as a multi-planetary species, as the only way to prevent a possible mass extinction. Dwindling resources on our planet, overpopulation and environmental crises, uh, crises, crisis, uh, as well as the risk of a global scale Armageddon create a powerful argument for anyone doubting the importance of our mission. It is a well understood fact that it is a matter of when, not if, for a major extinction event to happen. Having a self-sustaining population on a world other than Earth, when the time comes, should drastically increase humankind's odds of survival. Goal is to have 200 colonists at Sol 100. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A hundred people? That is unfortunate. That's gonna be very hard to do for me. I gotta say, because I like, I'm, I like, I think I really like the slow pace of the expansion, and uh, the game is saying, "Hey, you're going too slow. It's time to speed it up, buddy." 
All right then, fine. Uh, we're probably gonna have to have a dome over here. Uh, we're gonna make this dome happen too. Yeah, I think this dome's gonna have to happen sooner rather than later now. How much resources are on this? There's still 27 polymers on this thing. I need them offloaded as soon as possible. Por favor. Oh dear. Oh dear, you know what? We're gonna need another rocket. I need another cargo rocket. I need to have, I think, another RC rover. I want to have the versatility for the drones. Also, I think it's time to get another drone hub. We really need a lot more drones. And, uh, you know what? Actually, no. Because we can get a machine parts factory. Yeah. That's expensive. We only have 90 million left if I do that. Jesus. That's too expensive, I don't think. Making machine parts would let us really ramp up our power, though. We'd get the windmills. Hmm. Is it worth it? I don't know. If I do this, uh, and then I cancel the RC rover plan, and then I grab more machine parts, that's now we're 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 done. Funding is zero. This would be my last trip. I can't do that. Let's let's not take this. We'll at least have 300 million. But I do want to start manufacturing some machine parts. If that's even something we can do. I don't even know. Advanced. Um, does it tell me what the... Hold on. What's the, what's the formula for that? Let's go to the encyclopedia. This is a nice little cool place you can go to reference anything you want to know. And I'm going to go to buildings. And then I want to go to... Not Electronics Depot. Uh, electronics Factory. I want to go to... What the hell was I looking for? Machine Parts. Machine Parts Factory. So this requires two electronics to maintain. Of course. And it consumes 30 power. That's impressive. It produces 12 machine parts. This is like a late game thing. I don't think we can... We can't afford to have this building. Because we don't have the electronics. If we wanted to create our own electronics, it would take three electronics to continue. Well, okay, so this one's self-sufficient. This building here maintains itself, which is kind of interesting. It creates electronics from rare metals, so it doesn't technically... It, it, it takes one rare metal uh, to produce per day. We need a lot more production before we consider that kind of stuff, so never mind on that. A lot more. So, uh, we're going to take the rover. Uh, I think we're going to take a couple more drones. And I think we're going to take a couple more electronics and some more machine parts. That leaves us with 50 million left. Ick. Ick, I say. I. <sighs> this is bad. We're so, so, the budget is so tight, guys. The budget is so tight. Well, we do have that one sign. We do have that one research that's going to give us a million, a billion. So until that thing comes, let's make sure we don't run out of resources. That's pretty much eating up all of the remainder Sector of our funding. Scanned. So we're almost going to be forced to be self-sufficient here, unless we can get this rocket off the ground, because I think it has it has nine. Of these, I don't know how much these export for, but these nine rare metals is going to be worth pretty, like, going to be worth quite a bit of money. So if we can somehow get these guys, like, working more, like right now we're working pretty well. Uh, geologist, engineer, geologist, and then you guys have a botanist, a geologist, and an engineer, and they're getting. Hopefully, they're not getting maintained. They're about to shut down. I need to get them out. I need to get these over here. Let's go. Go over here again. At least we're going to get some concrete now. Because this produces it just barely out of command range. Are you kidding me? There it is. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad, people. That's so sad. Uh, I got an idea, though. Uh, let's take this drone. This one drone. And reassign it to be with this. Uh, let's take actually two drones and do that. We'll take this drone and reassign you to be with this. That should take care of our problems. I think. 
I think that will take care of our problems because it's going to mean achieved. it's going to make sure that there are two drones here at all times to bring things to this universal spot and then to the universal spot. They'll also be bringing fuel to the rocket because the fuel is being dropped off here, too. So they'll be refueling this rocket, too. That's a good idea. Uh, actually, we could maybe um, we could maybe do that here, too. What about this? The rare metals depot. If we get rid of this. And change this out for a universal one. Like, right here. We could just do it just inside this, right? Yeah, yeah, we could put it right here. So I put a universal depot right here. And get rid of this. That does basically the same thing. They still bring the rare metals here. But now they can start storing stuff here. And they can start storing concrete and metals and polymers and fuel. And there's the fuel. So now the fuel can now have some place to go and get it into the rocket. Because this thing has not been getting refueled. Uh, how many drones does this thing command? It has two. That should be enough. Yeah, two's fine. Oh man, the logistics in this game is so cool. So these two buildings are not working anymore because they don't have maintenance. Oh, these guys are like... They run really fast. Oh, here we go. Final rocket. RC rover and a, and a drone. Oh, my God. Uh, let's land you. I'm going to land you over here. I'm going to land you right here. This. Let's land you right down in the middle. So now all of our rockets are on the surface. None of them are lifting off. We are... Yeah, all five rockets. So we're out of rockets, we're out of money, and we're getting close to out of time. We have 71 souls to increase our population to 100. And currently, our stats are a huge power surplus, actually. That's, not, that's pretty good. If I hit this and I cancel this, is it going to collapse it? Yes. And... It's protected from dust while it's turned off. So we can actually turn these off. Uh, this one can go off too. Yeah. Which is going to mean us having a smaller surplus. But it also means we're not wasting it. Because right now, like... Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, better idea. Turn these back on. Turn, Take these and close them. Better idea close these uh, now we're at a deficit though hmm. well there's only one answer to that one more solar panel I think I'd rather have the extra solar panel than to have to keep giving these things polymers because polymers are super expensive actually I only need like two I only need like three power how much does a small panel give me Two power. Okay, so look at this, right? Two small panels will cost me two metals and take one metal to maintain total and give me four production. A large solar panel will cost me four metals up front, take one, takes the same maintenance, cost me more up front, but it gives me one more base power. Yeah, right, fine, large. Uh, yeah, here. All right, we'll build that. And then we should be good on power. And yeah, that's provided, of course, we don't turn these on, which I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Lots of water. We're fine on water forever. We got some fuel production happening. And hopefully that means these things are getting fueled. Or it means that they're taking fuel to the rockets that have to go first. I bet Research it's this one. Complete. I bet this is going to keep getting the fuel. Oh, yeah. Look at this. They're already in nine. It's going to be ten now. Yeah, good. They're refueling the rocket. Perfect. Well, guys, this episode's been really long. Uh, really sorry about that. I just get carried away sometimes. <laughs> I get carried away. I might cut this down a little bit and skip a few things just to make the episode shorter. But uh, this is Surviving Mars, and we're doing really well. I think, I think we are. I think we're doing really well. Let's get this RC car. Uh, if I get the RC car to come right here, I wonder if they'll start building that dome. I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been real. We'll see you next time. Bye.